what's up? My name is Jamie Aaron, and today we are going to talk about the bebop scale, specifically the dominant bebop scale. So what is the bebop scale? Well, the bebop scale contains a chromatic passing note, and we're going to look at the bebop scale you'd use over a dominant 7 chord. So let's go to the key of B flat, B flat 7. So this could be something you use over a blues, any kind of static dominant seven chord, or in passing, you could use it over a five chord in the two, five, one. So for right now, we're gonna look at just purely playing over a B flat seven chord. So we know when we play over a B flat seven chord, the scale that we most likely use to fit the sound of the B flat seven chord is the B flat mixolydian scale, which sounds like this. That scale contains the chord tones and extensions of B flat seven. What the bebop scale does is adds the natural seven in addition to the flat seven. So B flat major or B flat Ionian has that natural seven or A natural. B flat mixolydian has the A flat, but a B flat dominant bebop scale has both tones. So you get this. So when I play the two octave scale on the guitar, I usually do this A flat here up at the ninth fret, second string, and then I jump out of position quickly to get the natural seven. Well, you could also slide up. So that is the bebop scale. And one note, I normally don't think of the bebop scale when I play. I don't think, oh, I'm switching into the bebop scale. The name, the bebop scale, that just comes out of jazz education and jazz pedagogy. Really, I just think I'm playing the natural seven as a passing tone. So you can think of it like that as well, playing B-flat mixolydian, but having that natural seven in there as a passing tone. So here are a couple examples of some lines that use that scale that you can use over a B-flat seven. So here's a really classic line. So we're gonna start up at the 11th fret with the pinky on the root B flat and we're going to play B flat A natural the natural 7 A flat the flatted 7 and then G so that gives us the, the two sevenths and then we're going to go down to the F then to E flat back to F then to D, and then we're gonna play those bebop scale tones again. Root, natural seven, flat seven. Here's the slow. And faster, one, two, three, four. So here's one more example of a bebop scale lick. So this lick starts on beat four. It's a pickup measure. One and two and three and four and one. So we're gonna start playing those chromatic tones. Then we're gonna do a C minor arpeggio. So we know that C minor is in the key of B flat seven. And then down to F, E flat, C. Now we're gonna add another chromatic passing note. This is not in the bebop scale, D flat, but it's gonna take us to D. So we're gonna do what's called an enclosure. So we're doing an enclosure on that D, meaning we're playing the note above it, and then chromatically coming into that chord tone, which is the note we want to land on the D. So in addition to that natural seven from the bebop scale, we're also adding in a D flat, which is just a chromatic passing note. It's a note that's not in the scale, not in the chord, but we're adding it to give some chromaticism, make it a little more interesting to get somewhere. And then we're gonna do another enclosure to get to A flat, the flatted seventh, but this time we're gonna use our bebop scale tone. 
So we got root, natural seven, six, flat seven. So one and two and three and four and one. A little faster. One, a two, a one, two, three. So next time you're playing over a blues or anytime you have a static dominant chord, try adding the natural seven. You'll get a great chromatic passing sound from the flat seven to the natural seven to the root. Those are three chromatic notes together. It'll really enhance the sound of your playing, make it a little more interesting. And if your mixolydian scale sounds a little tired, add these chromatic passing notes and think about making these enclosures. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Please click subscribe and comment below, like this video. I put out lesson videos every week, so you don't wanna miss them. Please let me know any other topics you'd like me to cover and please support my music, my social media pages, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.